15 tips for Pokemon Go trainers. Tip number one, drive by catching. It's not cheating using your car, the game is meant for you to go out and explore the world. Drive by catching is a way faster way to find Pokemon. You will drive right by them and then the phone will ring and you can get them. Tip number two, the app does not track how fast you're going in the car, so it's not gonna be like, oh, he's going 50 miles an hour, so he must be driving, so don't count these miles or whatever. No, it, it totally counts the miles because it counts the distance of how far you went. If you have an egg that you need to hatch and you need to go five or two miles to hatch it, then just drive it. Tip number three, carpool. Don't Pokemon Go and drive. Have your passenger or someone in the back have your phone and their phone so that they can maneuver both of them while you're driving around like a neighborhood or like a uh, shopping area or something like that. Somewhere where it's okay to stop a little bit and then move. Tip number four, save your best Pokemon. Do not use it to go take out a gym because you're gonna want that guy to hold the gym once you do capture it. So don't use that guy, you don't want him having low health and then having to guard your gym. Tip number five, catch every Pokemon even if you already have it. You can use them and you can transfer them and then you can make them more powerful by just transferring with uh, Professor Willow and then he will give you points for that that transfer and then you can use it on your other guys. Tip number six, or just something that you should know really. Pokemon spawn in certain locations, so for example you guys may notice that you guys haven't caught a whole lot of water Pokemon right now, it's because you have to be by a body of water in order to catch water Pokemon, or they're really rare everywhere else. So like for example, I live in Nevada so it's a desert, so I get a lot of dry bones around here and there's, and they're all over the place even though they're more rare Pokemon. Pokemon like Ghastly's, they spawn at night, so there's an entire section category of Pokemon that only spawn at night. The game starts nighttime from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So you don't have to be up until 12 a.m. going out there catching Pokemon just from 6 a.m. to, you know, the morning. Tip number seven, go to your settings and turn off music and then have sound effects all the way up. That way, whenever you drive by an actual Pokemon, it'll be like and then it'll tell you, hey, like, you, you have a Pokemon and you don't have to listen to the annoying music the entire time and it won't mask the sound of the actual Pokemon appearing. So, just a little tip. Tip number eight, use the egg the moment that you get it. If you get an egg, you, all you have to do is go to Pokemon, swipe left, and then your eggs will be right there. You want to start incubation on one of them, click one of the, the eggs, start incubation, and then, you know, drive around, go around, walk around, do whatever you want, and then get that egg hatch. Number nine, use incense. It's extremely useful. If you don't know how to use incense, go to your items. You start it out with, I believe, two is the uh, starting amount, and then you just click on one of the incense. Don't worry about buying more incense or whatever. Once you reach, I believe, it's level five, you get one more incense, and then level six, you get another incense. They keep on giving them to you. Just use them wisely. Also, as like a nine and a half tip, both you and your friends can benefit from your incense. So if you use an incense, the Pokemon will come to you guys in that area and you guys can both catch the same Pokemon. Tip number 10, when you're gonna catch a Pokemon, aim above its head. That way if you don't hit it hard enough or if you don't throw the ball hard enough to actually hit it in the head, you might get the foot, you might get the stomach, you might get its neck, something like that, and you still get it. By the way, you only get the Pokemon if the Pokeball touches the Pokemon. It's not like, if it gets inside of that little blue cursor. That... Tip number 11, do not be afraid to meet new people. If you see someone walking around and they're doing this whole business and they're, they're on their phone and they're like looking and then doing all this, they're probably they're probably playing the game. So just be like, you playing Pokemon Go? And then just be like, yeah, we're playing Pokemon Go. And then you guys can, you know, maybe collaborate in that moment. And one of you can use an incense so that you can both get more Pokemon. Just work together. The game is built for that. Tip number 12, turn off the automatic turn off. Right now your phone is probably programmed to turn off if you don't touch the screen every one minute or something like that, or if you haven't touched the screen for a minute, it's just gonna turn off. Set it to never turn off or set it to 10 minutes. Mine only goes to 10 minutes, sadly. It doesn't go to never turn off. But yeah, just set it to that so that way when you're driving around and whatnot, your screen isn't going to turn off and then the game won't close and you'll still get those miles for driving around and stuff like that. Tip number 13, go to ingress.com and register or download the app Ingress and then register for an Ingress account. Ingress is the program that Pokemon Go uses to track where all the Pokestops are. So if you want to find all the Pokestops in your area, just go to ingress.com, 
sign up and then go to ingress.com slash intel and it'll pop up a map of every single Pokestop right next to you. And just, actually just everyone in the world. Tip number 14, spam attack. So when you're gonna go out there and attack a gym, you wanna use the same attack over and over again. Forget the whole dodging thing. If you have someone like Charmander or like a really, really fast Pokemon, if you just keep on hitting them over and over again and tapping the screen, the other Pokemon will be too slow to ever attack you. So you can instantly take them out. And the final tip, tip number 15, is don't let Pokemon Go consume your life. That is, of course, until you catch them all. Catch them all first, and then and then Pokemon can stop running your life. I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And join Red Team. Hashtag